good evening. Welcome to We Repair. Uh, so, obviously, it's 2022, and uh, normal people own a real games console, and uh, we are stuck with a Wii. So, um, we've had this in our family queer more than a few years, and uh, unfortunately, it has stopped reading discs. So, today I'm basically just going to work through a repair of it. Uh, it's not the longest job in the world, um, but it, it does... Yeah, it's, it's a little bit fiddly. Um, so I've already got the new drive. I've not really bothered diagnosing it. I'm not going to, it's not worth it. Um, I'm just gonna do a straight swap. Um, so let's get this apart and we'll go from there. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take this doors off. And one of ours walked some time ago and I don't know when. So uh, it's, it, it is just a question of literally open the door, lift it out and it will just pull off. Next thing we're going to do is get some of these screws undone. There's a mixture of crosshead and tri-wing, um, so you will need a decent tri-wing screwdriver to undo them. Uh, these ones are all crosshead on this side, so hopefully I've got a small enough bit. I do. So we're just going to work our way around and get them undone. This console has had a hell of a lot of use over the years, so uh, it's pretty well worn but still works really well. Those screws, just to mention, are different sizes, so you do just need to keep them in the right order. Uh, this piece will just lift out once you've done that. There you go, that's out. And then we've got a selection here of crosshead and tri-wing, so we'll just take those out as well. So that's nice and easy. There are some really, when you get into it later, some tri-wing screws that are pretty deep within the console so you do need a fairly long screwdriver I have actually bought one for this purpose <clears throat> as always if you need any of these parts replace base is my go-to um, they tend to do a really good job they're really quick on shipping so I highly recommend them right now Nintendo have this annoying habit of hiding screws under feet. I'm not sure which feet they are all under, so uh, we are going to have to do a little bit of exploration on this as well. Uh, so I'll take that out. And then I think I know which one it is. I could be 100% wrong. So as you can see, the little pads come up lovely and easy. just like that. You just work your way around. I got a feeling it might be one of the on these rear feet as well, but I could be wrong. On that one. No, I think I am wrong. Let's just grab a pry tool. No, we're all good there. I am wrong. Cool, so let's get these screws undone. So a one, a two, and a try wing in the front. And then we've got some more screws. I got a feeling there are some under these back ones this time, if I remember rightly. I'm not too worried about doing a neat job of getting these stickers off because at the end of the day I'm going to, uh, it's only for me anyway, so. so there you go, take those two screws, this whole front piece should now just more or less pull off gently, I don't think I've missed a screw, there might be one under there as well, you know, there is, I have missed a screw. another Phillips. Okay, take two. Right, so just need to be wary of this cable down the front here and how well you can see that. Um, that is the one for the power button, I believe. So we'll just do that. And that's that off. God, this is grubby. Should have taken that out to start with, shouldn't we? So we'll just do that. So, 
Uh, next thing, we'll do these feet on the bottom. I forget which ones they're under, if it's front or back, it might be the back. Yeah, there you go. So these are the two screws that I was on about earlier that are the ones that are pretty well buried. They're deep within the console, so you need a half decent long headed tri wing screwdriver to get them. As I say, I did have to buy one just to get these undone because I didn't have anything long enough. Out you come, you little monkey. There we are. Oops. So that should be everything I've done now, I think. And it will just lift away like that. Now this black piece here, it does come off as well, so just bear that in mind if it falls off and you take it out. And this silver metal shroud should just pull away. So we'll pop that back into here for when we put it back together. So here's our CD drive. Um, we've got four screws holding this in place at this point. Um, so again, they're just all crossheads. Should just be able to undo them one after the other. And they are all exactly the same size, so don't be afraid to mix them up. It's getting them back in that's going to be the fun bit. Come on, oh, you can be little monkey. There we are. <coughs> so, once that's out, this should lift. God, you can tell those are well worn. So, under here, I'll do my best to show you, we have two cables. I don't know if you can see it because of the light or not, but there's a white one just tucked just to here. I'll try my best to show you if I can. Just and just catch the glimpse of that. There's a white one just to here and there's a ribbon. The white one is tucked under, so you actually can pull it towards you and free up quite a lot of slack. See, like that. And then you can just see the ribbon there. So we'll pull the white one out from this side, and that's disconnected. Pop the console flat, and now we can turn it over and work on it, if you see. So it's this connection just here. We'll just undo that, and undo that. And that is our CD drive, completely detached. So popping that off to one side. So here's our new drive. A little bit cleaner, as you can see. And we're literally going to do the reverse now, so... Um, first thing we're going to do is get this ribbon in. It does need a bit of bending into shape sometimes, just to get it to play. So that's our ribbon, and then our drive cable. So when we do this, we've now got to tuck this back under here. So when I pulled it out, it came up from underneath this little slot here, just here. So we're going to have to try and feed that back in carefully, which I won't be able to show you, unfortunately. Oh, we've got some remnants of rubber feet here. Well, this has been so well used. Let's just quickly clean that up. I should have done that first. That's good. There we go. Still got some remnants on this side. Try and work tidy if we can. All right. So. Just make sure everything looks all right, it does. This is why we need to reseat everything carefully now. It's just a question of lining it up, really. There's some little rubber feet that sit on various pads in the four corners, so you just need to line them up and it will go into place. So that's done. All four corners are now lined up. We've just got to literally reverse what we've just done. So first thing we'll do is get these four corner screws in very carefully. Doesn't help that the light's not great here. Yeah, it's, it's like game of operation really. If you're not careful, you will nick the side and then you've had it. There we go. One down, three to go. I think I murdered my patient there. Not very, wasn't very good at operation. <laughs> right. 
Two. We'll try for another front one, shall we? Oh, straight in just like that. You watch, I'll mess this right up now. Right, so that's those done. I think what I will do before I go any further, I'll just give this a bit of a quick clean out. It's looking a bit grubby. Just make it look a bit neater. Especially this here. Oh. This is years of abuse, this is. Question is who's better in our family of uh, <laughs> playing this thing? It certainly isn't me. Absolutely destroyed by the kids. Right. Our metal plate in, so that's in there first. So we're going to flip this up the other way and straight on top of the console now. So very carefully, hopefully without dropping anything. I'm going to try and slot this all back together. Says. There we go. So that is everything back in position now. So what we'll do, we'll do our complete reverse. We'll do our tri wings first at the back here. And hopefully they'll just go in in one go. So this isn't a long job. I mean, well, ten minutes it's taken me so far. It's really not. It doesn't take long at all. Right. Um, so next thing we will do, I think we'll do the front now. So again, onto this little connector, we'll give this a bit of a brush as well, because this is looking a bit grubby. At least clean it up a little bit. So we'll do this. Hopefully I've got it the right way up, probably haven't. This connection will only go in one way, so you can't really mess it up. And there we go. <clears throat> so, again, just tucking the cables in tightly if you can. I say if you can, you will have to tuck the cables in tightly, otherwise this won't go back together very well. Let's just try and make this look neat. I'm not happy with that. Okay, now we'll start getting our screws and things back in. So, <clears throat> let's start with those ones there, I think. As they were the ones that are the last out, so we'll put them in. It's that one. Again, these are tri-wings. And then we'll do this side. In fact, let's just whack these feet back on while we're here. This was the fiddly one remembering all of where these screws came from. So, we'll do this one first. This was one of the ones we took out originally to get the front off. Okay, and then across here. Another crossy. <coughs> As always, if you want any information about this repair, um, please leave me a, a comment and I will respond um, as I always do. And again, if you would be so kind to subscribe to the channel and, and drop me a like, that always helps the channel and uh, helps get me into the algorithm as well. So pop this one in now. Oh, that one's a crosshead. That's not going to get us very far trying to use that one to do it. So that's this side of the console now completely done, except for the feet and things. Uh, I'm not going to worry about all the little white stickers because I didn't do a very good job removing them. And then we'll do this side now. <clears throat> so again, I've done my best to try and keep this in the same order. And uh, the only ones obviously to bear in mind are these two little screws here that we're going to do last because we're going to do that other panel. So. Let's grab a tri wing. Hmm. 
And another tri wing. And then we've got just crosshairs now. And then one more of those. side panel so just tuck it in at one end just there a little bit and then not as far as I did like that just a little bit and then just line up everything and it should just more or less slot into place assuming we've got everything right there we go so that's now back in place but again these screws you do need to pay attention to because they are different lengths um, so I've got the console up the other way this time which is obviously less helpful so and again, this is a cross head, not a tri wing. So trying to screw it in with a tri wing is not going to do me any favors. Oh, that's a very long screw. And then just two little short ones now. But again, both cross heads. So maybe I'll order that other plastic panel and restore this completely. But we'll see how we go. So, <laughs> there we are, just like that. And then we'll just slot this into here. And we are done. Happy days. So hopefully we'll give that a test run on the telly in a minute and we'll find out if that's all working. And uh, if it's not, then I'll be very quickly doing a follow-up video. But there we go, that's it. One uh, Nintendo Wii all fixed. So if, if it's been useful to you, um, obviously please leave me a like, drop me a comment. Um, if you if you obviously have any questions about the repair, then please ask, and I, I do try and respond to as many as I can and, uh, and try and offer my help as much as I can. But otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.